Okay, just a quick video <clears throat> going over what I did with uh, my carburetor after I put it back on. So I have the uh, 95 Enfield Bullet 500 and they come with the uh, MyCarb uh, 28, VM28, which is a copy of the Makuni VM28. It's a really simple round slide carburetor, uh, very, very reliable. And I, I never, I never really had any problems as long as you keep them clean and and uh, and everything. Now uh, I've got a spare one here, so uh, a fellow I know he uh, went up a size in carburetors on his Enfield, and he uh, gave me his old VM28. So it's kind of nice because I've got uh, an extra carburetor if I ever needed it. So just, I just wanted to go over three things, three or four things uh, with regard to the carburetor when I put it back on just so uh, you can get it close to being set up right for when you uh, start your uh, start your engine for the first time after either a carb rebuild or any engine work that you did. So one of the first things is the adjustment for the uh, tension on the throttle cable is at the top of the carburetor. And this, this little uh, uh, nut will screw up and make itself longer, screw out of the top of the carb here and that'll put tension onto the throttle cable. So the way to set this up is uh, when, you, when you put in your throttle cable, screw this all the way down as far as it goes, and uh, then uh, once you've got your bike running and idling nice and easily, then you just uh, back off the, the lock nut here and start to lengthen it a little bit till you start to hear it speed up. And what that's doing is that that's taking up the tension of the end of the cable. There's a, the cables inside the, uh, hooked onto the throttle uh, throttle slide. And it's just taking up the slack so that it stretches it out to where it's supposed to be. When you hear that, just back it down a little bit and then lock it down in place with the, uh, with the lock nut. And what that means is that then you know you, uh, inside the throttle you don't have any slack or very little slack on your throttle cable. And when you go to twist the throttle, the response, it'll start to lift the slide right away. So uh, that's the first adjustment uh, that I made when I put the bike in, is just screw that all the way down. Then once I'm done with the other adjustments on both the, uh, the, th uh, the, uh, the ramp screw here and the air screw, and it's idling nice and neat, and I, I pull, started pulling this up just to take up that slack. Until then, you really don't worry about it because what you're really doing is setting up the aisle. And this is for the, for the throttle when you start to lift the, the slide and the needle out of the main jet. Okay, so there's that. And let's see, let's go on to, what should we do first? Well, uh, let me take out the, the slide. So just got to unscrew it in the spring. And a little, little, little brass keeper. When you put these in, by the way, you put the you put the uh, cable down through through there, down there through the through the spring, and you got to hook it into the top of the slide. Can we see that? Let me let me get a little light onto that for you. There we go. There we go. So you gotta you gotta put it in the center there, and then move it over to uh, to the right side of the, your screen there, the right side, and it hooks in there. And then this keeper goes down over it and goes in, sits in there like this, and locks it into place. And it's locked in place by the spring pushing down on it and keeping the keeping the keeper from coming out. So when I put these in. What I've done is you just, you, you've got your uh, cable through here. I just gather up the spring like this. And it's a bit of a game. You, you got to fiddle with it. You get the cable in there. You kind of got to use your other fingers, drop it in. I've used the needle nose pliers to get that in there. Once it's inside, then you can twist it around a little bit with either a small screwdriver or a needle nose and get it in place. A little bit of fiddling. Just don't drop this. And, and for sure, don't bend this needle. So this carb's dirty. I haven't cleaned this yet. Uh, my buddy gave this to me years ago, and, I, and I'm going to clean it today. But right now, just to do this video before I clean it, I thought I'd do this. So there's the ramp that sits against the throttle screw. And what happens is the screw goes in there. And if you can see that it's 
angled in there. The screw will push against that. And as you screw it in, it's, it's, it's round on the end. As you screw it in, it pushes the throttle up and that'll increase your RPMs a bit because you can see the, the slide is cut away and it allows some air to go through. So let's just, there we go. So very hard to see. Let me shine a light through the other side here. This one is just barely adjusted. I don't know if you can see that. But when you screw this in, the slide gets lifted up like that, just slightly. It doesn't have to come up much, just slightly, and your RPMs will go up. So you adjust that uh, to get the idle where you want it, and then just leave it. And uh, that's that. On this carburetor, what I found, if you look inside, you can just see, just see the end of the screw. Actually, I'll screw it in a little further so it's easier to see. You just see the end of it. You see the round end there? Well, that's what goes into that ramp on the slide and pushes it up. But uh, what I found was it's about between six and seven turns from all the way out. About six, once, you've, once you've caught the first threads, it's about six to seven turns before it starts to contact the slide and start to push it up. So on my bike, I've got this about a little more than seven turns in for the idle that I want. But uh, yeah, anything below six turns, it's really, it hasn't gone in far enough yet to start to, to contact this ramp and push the slide up. So just so you know, that's about what, what it is on both of these bikes. So it worked out pretty good. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is the air screw. So the inlet side here and the outlet side here into the uh, head of the engine. This little screw here is adjusting the air that's going to go through and pick up the, the gas for your pilot uh, circuit. So the way these come from the factory is about one and a half turns out. So there's a spring inside there. So you, and you got to be careful with this. It's just it's really a fine adjustment. And when you get down to the bottom there, when you get to the end, don't torque on this. Just stop where it stops. There, see it stopped, and I'm not torquing on it. I just stopped. So you come out one and a half turns, and that's a good place to start. <clears throat> and get your idle going, get your bike nice and warm. And then uh, once it is, and you've got your throttle set where you want it for the idle, and, and the engine's warm, then start to open this up. So you back, uh, that is uh, counterclockwise. So you, you screw this one counterclockwise until you hear the revs go up. And when the revs go up, then screw it back down until you hear that go start to drop again and then just leave it there. So it's what you're doing is you're either adding air by opening this screw or you're reducing the air and by and by effect increasing the fuel uh, by screwing it clockwise back in. And I prefer to have it uh, a little bit rich, so I'd rather have it turned down in a little bit more. But on my bike, this came out to be about one and a quarter turn. The air, air circuit here uh, turned out to be a one and a quarter, and that was that was good. But I started at one and a half until I got my adjustments just right. And after that, you can blip the throttle, you can go for a ride, and uh, it stays it stays idling nicely. So that's that. Pretty straightforward. These are these are great little carburetors. You know, uh, uh, the uh, enricher circuit. Oh, and on on the carburetors, there's different Makuni carburetors. You can see this one's plugged off. If the screw was over here it would be a fuel uh, fuel screw. It would be adjusting a fuel flow into the, but because it's here on the air side, on the intake, inlet side rather, it's adjusting the air. So the fuel's going through the uh, orifice for idle, and this is adjusting the air that gets uh, uh, gets used to pick up that fuel from the, from the float bowl. And then there is an enricher circuit here. So in here, and right now there's a little dead spider sitting in there, but it goes in through there. And your plunger just picks it up here and throws extra fuel into uh, into the uh, inlet of the of the bike, and it, that's why it's here on the on the inlet side. But uh, that's not really a choke, even though this says choke. It's actually an enricher, but it doesn't matter. It does the same thing. It uh, in, it increases the fuel uh, to air mixture. So yeah, pretty straightforward uh, carburetor. These are great little carbs to work on. Easy to clean. 
uh, and you can still buy a lot of parts for them easily. Although I've, I've never, I've been very careful with, uh, when I take them apart with regard to O-rings and uh, gaskets, and I've never had to really replace parts, but they are easy to, easy to get parts for. So anyway, that's my Makuni, that's how I set it up.